Hey, I'm excited to announce to everybody that this year at Soft Washapalooza, one of our keynote speakers is going to be Howard Partridge, the Howard Partridge. Yay. We have a yay, hey Howard. We are this year doing some new things. We have not only some phenomenal speakers coming in and some uh, incredible classes, uh, but we are limiting our attendance to 130 people. We believe we can add the best value to people um, who want to have a business plan. Now, if you come to Soft Washer Palooza and you need to develop a business plan, you will walk away with a plan for 2020, plus not only the plan, but the details and the tools to get you where you want to go. If you already have a plan, you can sharpen that plan while you're at Soft Washer Palooza. It's January 22, 23, and 24. Now, I don't want to waste any more time with that. I want to introduce uh, Howard to our friends out there. A lot of you people don't know who Howard Partridge is. So what I would like, Howard, just tell us in two, three, four minutes, who is Howard Partridge and why would they want to come listen to you? Well, first of all, I'm originally from LA, uh, lower Alabama, and uh, my wife doesn't laugh at my jokes either, so it's okay. <laughs> Actually, I, uh, I grew up in uh, Mobile, Alabama on welfare. There were seven kids crammed a little 600 square foot shack and the roof on that house was uh, so bad that every time it rained, we had to uh, get out all the pots and pans to catch the leaks. My mother fed us on $100 a month from the welfare department. I don't care when that was. It just was a lot of money. Right. And um, I got in a fight with my stepdad. I was 18, almost 18. I got in a fight with my stepdad, got kicked out of the house. I deserved it. I had no money. I scraped up $39.95 for a Greyhound bus ticket to Houston, Texas, and I arrived uh, here in Houston with 25 cents in my pocket. Long story short, I became a waiter, and I, I always wanted to have my own business, just didn't have any money to speak of. And then I met my wife, Denise Conjet Antoinette Pinella. Now, that's Italian from New Jersey, and I'm from where? Lower Alabama. This is going to be a good match. So I go get married in this Italian family, and when you marry into an Italian family, you don't get wedding presents, right? You get cash, and we got $3,000 yes. cash and wedding uh, money. And uh, there was a friend of the family, same age as me, 23 at the time, tooling around a little red Mercedes convertible, and I said, I want to know what that guy does, and I want to know if it's legal. Well, turns out that he had his own cleaning business. And so I get back to Houston after our honeymoon. I spend the entire $3,000 starting my cleaning business out of the trunk of my car. And over the next 13 years, I worked really hard. I, I became a slave to that business. And in 1997, I learned some secrets that changed everything for me. And I ended up taking that business and, and transform it into a multi-million dollar turnkey operation. We'll do about $4 million this year. And it's literally turnkey, very profitable, but it was hard to get there. I had to go through a lot of different things to get there. And a little over 20 years ago, I started uh, coaching other people in the cleaning industry. And fast forward to today, to today I, I'm involved with the Ziegler Corporation. I'm their exclusive small business coach. We have uh, coaching clients in 109 different industries in, uh, yeah. in uh, 20 different countries. And uh, I've got my eighth book coming out uh, uh, in uh, January. In fact, when we get to South Washapalooza, my keynote's gonna be from my newest book. It's called FTI, Failure to Implement. And yes. it's the number one reason that people don't reach their goals. And so that's the major thing that I'm gonna be talking about and teaching on at Soft Washapalooza. So Howard, you're such yeah. a great fit. I don't care what small business someone has. You're, you're such a great fit for a guy to, to teach because you're not just teaching theory. Right. You're teaching what you've learned through hard work. You're, you've yeah. not, you only can, not only can teach what does work, you can teach what doesn't work. And it's a perfect fit because yeah. the theme this year is vision, 2020 yes we want to help business leaders grow now you've already indicated that you've got this book coming out yeah. fti in fact your keynote yeah. is going to be on fti failure to implement yeah uh, 
talk to us about how that will benefit the guys that, that come in here at business owners, but also you're going to be teaching some breakout uh, sessions. Yep. So talk to us a little bit about how that'll be a value added to our businesses. Yeah, you bet. So the thing is, is, uh, is you're right. Vision 2020 happens after you get there. Okay. Right. It happens after you make it and you can look back on your career and say, okay, I did that good. Didn't do that so good. And you don't have vision 2020 when you start out. Right. But you can get vision 2020 from other people by, and this is the greatest, Dan, this is the greatest life lesson I've ever learned. This is how I got to where I am now. You know, I grew up in that little house and I haven't, I don't think I've ever shared this with anybody uh, on any webcast ever. Okay. But I just thought about this yesterday. I was uh, walking up my driveway. I have a million dollar home here. I have a million dollar home in uh, Florida. And uh, thinking I grew up in this little 600 square foot shack and every bit of it other than the grace of almighty God and the people that he put in my life is because I follow principles of success that anybody can follow right and so vision 2020 comes after the pain after you experience all that or you do what I did after I experienced enough pain and that is find the person who uh, has already been successful, they're already where you want to be, and, uh, and that also know how to get you to where it is that you wanna be. That's what you're gonna get at South Palooza. And so in this presentation on FTI, the first thing is that I'm gonna share with you, let me just ask the audience a couple questions. Are there things that you know that you should be doing right now that you're not doing to grow your business? Great question. And, Absolutely. And you know that there are things that you can do, but there's just doesn't seem to be enough time. There's a lot of pressure, a lot of obstacles. We don't know the things that we need to know. And so in this presentation, I'm going to share with you, first of all, why the, the reason we don't implement, and it's going to surprise you. And number two, I'm going to share with you 10 proven principles to get you where you want to go to reach your biggest dreams and goals. And uh, one of those is what I call the people principle. And that's what's going to happen at South Palooza is you're going to get around people who are already where you want to be and that we can all as a group share with you how we got there and how to get vision 2020 without enduring the kind of pain and the struggle that uh, we had to go through and get you there faster. So that's what my keynote is all about. By the way, my definition of leadership is effectively communicating your vision. And so having vision 2020 to grow, the number one reason that small businesses don't grow or do as well as they could is because of FTI and I'm gonna help you. You can have all the plans and you, you want. That's one of the principles, the planning principle. But you can have a plan, you can have a business plan sitting there, but if you don't implement, yeah. if you don't execute, if you fail to implement, you're not going anywhere. That's what I love about you. I love when I talk to you because you've, you've been coaching us here at Software Systems as well. So we yeah. get the benefit of having direct conversation with you and your uh, company, but you've been where we want to go. Yeah. But in addition to that, you love to see people do well. You know, some people will teach because of what they get. Yeah. You love to see people yeah. do well. And, and I'm going to tell you what you just said really struck a nerve because I do agree that sometimes it's not until we get past the event that we look back and we say, wow, now my vision's clear. Now yeah. I wish I would have done this or wish I wouldn't have done that. But coming to Southwest Palooza and hearing from great uh, speakers such as yourself and learning from you is like going to the optometrist who can put you on a machine and yeah. say, you know what? I can correct your vision so you can do better moving forward. What, and so what you just said to us is, if, if we'll come, take some notes, learn, get the plan down, make some changes, we could do better moving forward so that when we do look back over our 10 years, 20 years of business, 30 years, we're going to say, wow, I'm glad I invested three days yes, to get my, my vision corrected. That's yes, what came to mind. Yeah, and I'll also say this, that uh, 
myself personally, uh, I go to as many live events as I possibly can. Next week, I'm spending $10,000 on a four-day event, and uh, I'm going to walk away from that event uh, because I've done this many times before. A better person, a better business owner, a better family yes. man, and I'm going to be able to take my business to the next level because I'm learning from people who are already where uh, I want to go. So you're going to yes. love this. We touched on two principles. I'm going to share 10 with you. You'll learn what the other eight are. But more importantly, how to take that and uh, really implement your plan. There's a Japanese proverb that I love that says, vision without action is just a daydream. Action sure. without vision is a nightmare. And that's where most people live is every day they're busy. They're taking an action, but they're not getting to, you're not getting to where you want. So I'm going to share with you why that is and help you turn the lights on, so to speak, vision 2020, and then show you what to do about it. I'm really excited to see you in January. More than that, I'm excited, I'm excited that to be there. Well, our network loves you and they love learning from you. They not only have the advantage of buying the books and learning from you, but they get to also come alongside now and learn face to face. So I'm very excited for that. I want to thank you, Howard. Looking forward to it. Guys, you need to get your tickets below. I'm with Howard. He's spending $10,000 on a four day uh, uh, venture. I've spent as much as two or 3,000 on a couple of days. And I just know that it's because of the value added. Once I realize what I'm getting, I'm surprised at how small the cost is, right? Yeah. So Howard, yeah, any parting sure. words? Absolutely, invest in yourself. One of the best things you can do is come to an event like this and it's helped me so much. That's why I continue to do it today. And then uh, the two other classes real quickly that I'll be teaching is one, the power of referral marketing. Our cleaning Good. business generated 1.2 million in uh, referrals last year. 1.2 million. One of the Softwash guys that we've been uh, coaching went out and did six calls. It wasn't even him, it was his employee. Went out and did six calls and, and uh, landed a $5,000 job. And the thing is, is that he can duplicate that. I'm gonna show you how to do that. You won't have to, you know, without spending money on advertising, without having to do some of the things that some of you guys are doing out there. And uh, I'll show you that process. And then third, those of you that are, um, are, that have employees that maybe are missing the mark, maybe they're not showing up on time, maybe they're not doing the job exactly right, and you're having to redo things, and, you know, that's a burden for you. I'm going to share with you what I call my simple dimple coaching process i'm going to teach you five questions to ask where you can coach without any drama get people uh, back on track and everybody can feel good and everybody can be more productive as a result looking forward to being with you i think this is my third or fourth time being at yep. south washington palooza and i love you guys as much as as you said, they love me. So we're going to just have a love fest down there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we are. All right, everybody get your tickets. I will see you yes. January. Uh, Lord willing, we're going to have some great weather here in Orlando, Florida, January 21 through 24. All right, Howard. Thanks a lot. Talk to you later. Thank man. you, Dan. See you guys later. Bye-bye.